Hi there, my name is Haley and I am here at the Youth Science Institute at Vasona Park in Los Gatos. Our mission here is to inspire an enthusiasm for science and a love of learning. And to fulfill that mission today, I'm going to be talking to you about a very special animal that lives right here in our park. And I'm going to be using some really awesome educational and sciencey words today to teach you some amazing facts about this animal. So today we're going to be talking about the crayfish. And before we talk too much about it, I want us to think, does it live here? And if it, if it does live here, where did it come from? So California only has one native species of crayfish left, but it's not native to our area. It lives at the very tip top of California, as you can see on this map right here. And the only Bay Area native species is known as the sooty crawdad, and it's actually not even in existence anymore. But if those aren't the species that you're likely to see in the park, what types of species will you see in the park? The two that you're most likely to encounter are the red swamp crayfish and the signal crayfish. And those were introduced a long time ago as part of the food trade. And now you can find them all over the world and they're actually still eaten today. So I am gonna bring out a live crayfish now, and as I'm bringing this out, I want you to take a close look and see what you notice about the body of this crayfish. Let's take a look at her other body parts. Notice how many legs she has. There are 10 legs. At the bottom of those legs, there are little tiny claws to help pick up things to eat. She has little mandibles in the front that act like little hands to help her feed herself as well. And take a look at those eyes. The head has a set of eyes that are mounted on stalks called pedicles. If you watch the live crayfish, you can see those eyes move independently. She can move each eye in opposite directions to see all around her. So this is an excellent adaptation for protection. But that's not the only cool fact about crayfish. They have some amazing things about them to help them survive in the wild. These things are called adaptations. An adaptation is something an organism like a crayfish has to protect itself so it has an excellent chance of living a long time in their environment. What is one thing you see that you think would help protect her? If you said claws, you're absolutely right. Those claws pack a pretty impressive pinch, which is definitely enough to scare a predator away. But another cool thing about these guys is that big fan-like tail. While they're using their claws to protect themselves, they use that powerful tail to scoop the water and swim backwards away from danger. But what if the crayfish isn't quite fast enough? Well, it might lose its claw like the crayfish we have here. Don't worry though, the crayfish can grow it back. Can we grow back our arm? I wish we could. The reason a crayfish can is because they do a process called regeneration. This happens during their growing process called molting their exoskeleton. So exoskeleton, what does that word mean? Well, let's break it down. Exoskeleton. We know skeleton, right? Ours is inside of our body. So exo must mean outside. Their skeleton is on the outside of their body. That's why they molt when they need to grow. During this process, they can slowly grow that claw back. However, even though they have that hard shell as armor, it doesn't always keep them safe. There are many animals out there who'd like a crayfish for lunch. Many types of birds, such as gray blue herons, snowy egrets, California gulls, and so many more, and even big fish like the largemouth bass would love a crayfish or two. I've also seen raccoons enjoying some crayfish for a midnight snack, and even people eat crayfish. So if so many people can eat this creature, how do we have any crayfish left at all? The crayfish trick is that she can lay up to 500 eggs at a time. Typically they'll lay between 100 and 200 eggs, but what they do that's really special is they protect those eggs as they grow and until they're big enough to survive on their own. So crayfish are actually really great moms. When our crayfish lays her eggs, she actually holds those eggs underneath her tail until those eggs hatch. And before they even hatch, she'll move those eggs around in a process called aerating so that those eggs can get enough air and enough nutrients as they grow. And as those eggs hatch, she will actually hold on to those little baby crayfish under her tail and protect them until eventually they get big enough that they push each other off from under her tail. So this crayfish is an animal that you would find living in fresh water, but relatives of this crayfish that you might see living in the ocean are animals like crabs, shrimp, and lobster. 
these are animals known as crustaceans and crustaceans have a very important job to play in their ecosystems. Their job is that they help keep their water sources clean. So they love to eat all of that dead stuff that sinks to the bottom of their water source and they turn it back into soil and nutrients for that environment. So they have a really important job to play. They kind of take care of nature's garbage, that dead stuff that falls to the bottom of the creek or the stream or the lake. Would our crayfish be able to take care of human garbage, like maybe a soda can or a plastic bottle? No, she wouldn't be able to. So our crayfish works to keep her water source clean and we have to help and work to keep that waterway clean as well. I hope you had a great time and learned some fun and educational facts with me today. And I hope you can come out and visit us at our nature center once our nature centers are open again. Our nature center at Allen Rock is currently open and you can reserve your time slot now. And to keep up with what YSI is doing, please follow us on our social media pages at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Also visit our website at www.ysi-ca.org for exciting events such as our science safaris, our after school programs, and our virtual in-person programs for afternoon learners. And from all of us here at YSI, stay safe and stay healthy.